Hi, I'm Orion Rispoli. I'm a PhD student in the Department of History. I study the intersection of race and religion in early America. I love history because I hate and I love people. And in my study of history, I get to see the best and the worst of humanity. And I believe that's sort of the epitome of our existence, right? The good, the bad, and the in-between. The idea of demonic possession across humanity has fascinated people. The story that sticks out to me is of a John Thurston who so desperately wanted to become a Quaker that for weeks on end he attended Quaker meetings. His membership is solidified when he uh, goes through his own quaking experience and the quaking experience is when the, the Holy Spirit of, of sorts uh, overtakes you. Thurston is very, very happy that he's quaking and that happiness is somewhat short-lived because he goes home and he goes to bed that night. Oh my God, thank God I'm a Quaker, right? And he goes home that night, but then he wakes up in a sweat, in a puddle of sweat. And he goes downstairs and he uh, is compelled, a voice in his head is compelling him to grab a knife and to put it to his throat and to kill himself because in killing himself, he'll have eternal life. Now, of course, this uh, is not God speaking to him, at least as the story goes, right? It's not God speaking to him, but the devil. And the only reason the devil has access to him is because of his newfound Quaker faith. Whatever hysteria filled the colonists' popular imaginations. Namely, colonists took liberties with their depictions of Native Americans and Africans often portraying them with distorted bodily features or an axe that showed their supposed savagery. To emphasize the difference, suppose the difference between the normal, which is synonymous with good, and the abnormal, synonymous with evil or bad. Today this formula is still in use, and it's more innocent renditions, films of the possessed. Subjects are transformed to appear overtaken by a monstrous spirit. Their skin is yellowish gray, their eyes are red, their hair is matted. They have an upside down crucifix on their forehead, just in case you, you, know, you didn't get it, that they were evil. In a more pernicious way, however, the media is guilty of portraying people of color in such a fashion that emphasizes racial, gender, and class demarcations that are not that different from early America. Unfortunately, there are many examples of this. I think organized religion has no problem subverting itself. Catholic Church. Con Mather was obsessed with demonic possessions. So before the Salem witch trials, which of course he was a major figure in, he observed the Goodwin family was possessed by demons in 1684. And uh, in his diaries though, what plagued him most was not the spirits of the underworld, but his insecurities that no one liked him 